All right, so we're starting a new month. That means we have a new question and a new bottom line. So our question this month is, who made you? And the bottom line is, and we're going to answer that question, and it's God made me. Yes, God made me, and he made you. All right, he made everyone, all people. He made us to be just like him. But the thing is, there's not two people that are the same. We are all different. Some people are girls, like me. <laughs> and then some people are boys. So, yeah, like boys and I don't know, there's another bitch of a girl. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're a girl, stand up. So, yep, I'm standing up. I'm a girl. All right, now if you're a boy, stand up. I guess I'll sit down. <laughs> but awesome, good job. And just like he has boys and girls, um, we have other differences too. Like some people have black hair. And then some people have brown hair. Some people have red hair. If you have red hair, put your arms in the air. Awesome. If you have brown hair, put your hands on your head. Awesome. And if you have black hair, hmm, let's stand up and stand on one leg. Good job, everybody. That is so awesome. You guys can sit back down if you want to. <laughs> All right, so. And uh, let's think. There's other things that God made for us, too. Um, like we have a mouth. We have two arms. We have two legs. And we have two feet. Ten fingers. <laughs> that is just all these awesome things that God created for us so that we can do all the things that we can do. And yet, none of us are the same. We are all different. And God made us just like him. It's just just to put it all together, just to remind you guys, who made you? Yes, God made you. Yes, God made me and you. This is great, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. In the morning and I wiggle my toes, wiggle my toes. Oh, oh. I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose, scratching my nose. Oh, oh. So I clap my hands, stomp my feet because I love the way that God made me. I move my head and shake my knees because I love the way that God made me.
Hello there, friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and I'm so happy to see you today. My friends and I were just doing something super duper fun. Do you want to know what we're doing? I'll give you a big hint. That's right. We're taking silly photos of each other, and we have all these crazy props to use like this. And like this. And even this. This has been the best day ever. Say cheese. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Taking pictures today, are you? Hi, Ollie, I sure am. My friends and I have been having the best time taking silly photos and holding up these crazy props. Just look at this nose. Everyone's eyes, nose, and mouth are different. It's true. I have a story about who made them for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. And done. <laughs> Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Do you want to see my painting? You do? <laughs> okay, get ready. Ta-da! <laughs> I painted a picture of me, myself. <laughs> see, my brown eyes and my brown hair. I'm just a beginner, but I think I did a pretty good job. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Ooh. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we've got everything we need. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is about the maker of all people. Who do you think it is? Hmm? God, that's right. God made everyone and he made us to be like him. But no two people are the same. It's true. Some people are girls. Some people are boys. Some have red hair. Some have black or blonde or brown hair. God made us all in the most wonderful way. He created people with fingers and toes and ears and eyes. God created people with legs and arms and a mouth and teeth. God even gave us a brain to think. Incredible, right? God is amazing and he made us to be like him. Now, speaking of our brains, God gave us very special brains. God made us to learn. It's true. There are so many things we can learn. We can learn how to talk and tie shoes and read books and ride a bike. There are new things to learn every day. In fact, we're learning about God right now. And God made us so creative. Who here loves to dance? Ha huh? <laughs> ha, good. Who here loves to sing? <laughs> Great. And who loves to build towers with blocks? Awesome. That's because God made us creative, like him. And do you know one of the best things we can do with our amazing, wonderful, creative selves? Help others. Yes, God made us to help. We can help others by painting get well cards, or helping clean up, or saying kind words. Huh, isn't that amazing? God made us to learn, to create, and to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. 
So there's your story, and it's all true. God made all of us special, and that includes you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, that is so cool. God made all of us. We are all special and unique in every way. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, I have an idea. Can I take your picture? When I say, say cheese, show me the silliest face you can make. Are you ready? Say cheese! Wow, that was awesome. Good job, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.